Now, quadrant three is where it gets a little sticky, it gets a little tricky, because these are our high profit, high maintenance. Ugh, these are hard. What do we do with them? They, they make a lot, we make money from them, but they drive us crazy. They drive us crazy. We have one client that comes to mind in this quadrant. His name is Frank. Frank used to be a housing inspector. If you're taking notes, you may want to write down, never work with a client who was a housing inspector. Because Frank, in the, when he receives invoices from us, he has never seen an invoice that was quite right. So we'll get a phone call. The phone call sounds like, and he's a nice guy, but he's just difficult. So you'll call and you'll say, Mark, uh, this is Frank. I got the, uh, the invoice for or the winterization of the sprinkler system. Oh, yeah, yeah, Frank. You know, it's, uh, it was $45. Yeah, sure. You know, Mark, last year, it was only $43. That's, uh, that's a $2 increase. Just, just saying, Mark, just saying. And, uh, you know, did, did the vendor remember to check the head in the back southwest corner of the yard? Because last year, I'm pretty sure that was leaking a little bit. And while they're out there, the, the trash cans, they looked a little bit loose. Can you check the trash cans? Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it. Oh, it drives us crazy. Right? So we work with Frank. And the way we're set up in our office is we have portfolio property managers. They manage a portfolio. Of doors. So at one point in time, the property manager who was managing Frank's property comes into my office and says, Mark, I, I can't handle Frank. He's driving me crazy. Calls me all the time. I can't handle him. I just I, I don't want him. I said, I get it. I know Frank. So I emailed Frank. Dear Frank, it's Mark. Hey, hope you're doing well, buddy. You know what? I just don't think our system is a good fit for you. You're real hands on. You know, we love working with you, but maybe it's time you find a different PM. 30 seconds later, my phone rings and I see Frank's number on my voicemail. So I do what any of us would do. I let it go to voicemail. And Frank says, <laughs> Hey, Mark, it's Frank. You know, man, I got your, your email. Man, let, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We're, we're good. We're good. I'll be better. I'll be better. You guys do a great job. I love you guys. You know, I'm just, I've got time on my hands. Okay, we're good. Click, click. Okay, fine. But I have to assign Frank to a different property manager because that won't property manager won't work with him. Guess what else I did to Frank's account? I charged him more. And he was like, okay, I get it. I, I get it. Three months later, same thing happens. Uh, second PM comes to my office. Same thing. Mark, he's driving me crazy. I can't handle it. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I get it. I email Frank a termination email. Dear Frank, appreciate working with you, buddy. Effective the end of the month. Management agreement's terminated. Please move on. Get out of here. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. He calls me again. Please, 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 please. I'll get better. I'll be better. I, I love you guys. You guys are so good. You guys are great. I know I'm, I'm, I'm tough, but, you know, please, please, please. So I take him back again. Guess what I did again, though, to Frank's fees? because I had to make it worth it. I kid you not, it happened again a couple months later. And the PM won't do it. Guess who was managing Frank's properties then? Yeah, I was, I was. But I'm charging the guy like a 20% management fee. I'm just greedy enough, I can't turn away 20%. I mean, come on. But these are the hard ones, right? We don't know what to do with these folks. They, they drive us crazy, and it's not a right or wrong, but you've got to make a business decision there.